Hello, my dear friends. May all of you be blessed. In fact, may all of you be the blessing. Because one thing is for you to receive a blessing, and the other is you to be the blessing yourself. So, there are two kinds of people that are inserted in the church. There are those that live seeking after blessings, and there are those that became the blessing themselves. And what are you? The blessing or the one who is searching after blessings? Well, I want to tell you this, that God, He did not call us to be buscadores seekers, or to go after and to be after the blessings. He did give his promises, his blessings, but the greatest blessing of God is that we be the blessing ourselves. Remember that we started speaking when God spoke to Moses to tell the people of Israel. He told them, Now, therefore, if you will indeed obey my voice, obey my voice, and indeed obey my covenant, so, to indeed obey God's voice and to obey His covenant. Then you shall be a special treasure to me. A special treasure is like this. There are things that we have. For example, Esther and I, we have things that we share. So, we share certain things, but there are things that are special. For example, my, my toothbrush, I don't share it with her, and she does not share hers with me. Although, when there is that great need, a situation happens, then we even share a toothbrush. But normally, she has hers and I have mine. And this is fair, então, right? Que que é so then, what is a special treasure? A special treasure Olha, is exactly this. Nós somos de Deus. We are of God. We are a Só special Deus. treasure to Him. Somos so we dele. only belong to Him e and to nobody else. That is why God, idolatria. He bans idolatria. idolatry. Do Not Deus only Deus idolatry, Deus. idolatry in terms of idols, of stone, metal, or whatever kind, but whatever idol that we prepare or make for ourselves, even inside of the church. Because, for example, the evangelical people, they left idolatry from back in the days, and many of them, Many of them, they turned into other kinds of idolatry. I was devoted to St. Joseph and Mary. And I even, I even had pictures of it, idols of it. But once I found Jesus, I abandoned those idols. And I took in the word of God. So, the Lord, He identifies to me, He manifests Himself to me through His words. So I only hear the Word of God. I don't want to know whoever's opinion. I don't want to know. I only hear the Word of God. So in my mind, in my, in my intellect, it's to prioritize God's Word only. So then, Whenever we become special treasure to God, then we put idolatry to the side, we drop all the idols, we stop following men, 
For example, my mother, she was my goddess. My mother, she was my mother. But whenever, when I met Jesus, she became second in my life. She became second. No longer the first. When I met Jesus, I stopped doing my will to do now the will of my Lord and God. So, I then I assumed to be now a property of God. And he is the one who chose me. I didn't choose him. It was not my option or my choice. It was his. So he chose me. He chose me and he chooses. He chooses his special treasure to himself. He's the one who chooses. He's the one who picks. So... When a person, they are attached, for example, to the pastor, and then there is, without knowing, without knowing and noticing, they exchange the pastor or they, they exchange the Lord to the pastor. They, they now love their pastor. They love the church. They make the church now... They are idle. We cannot idle no one. Not the church, not the pastor, not a bishop. Absolutely no one. Not even our jobs. I was talking about idolatry and I heard this story. A true story. A bishop told me. Bishop, I... I met a gentleman that he had. He had a special work. And he was an assistant of the Universal Church of the Kingdom of God. And he had a special work. And he worked with all the care and dedication. But then, as time went by, after many years, this gentleman, he became weak, very fragile because of his age and due to the physical of his body. So this gentleman, he could no longer meet the needs of this special work. So then he was changed. Someone changed him and placed someone younger that could give continuation to the work that he had begun. And this gentleman, he ended up going to the hospital later on, and he was now at his last stage. And then the pastor went there, there to speak to him and say, Mr. So-and-so, I know you are uh, here, but your work still continue, and the work you did was very good. But that gentleman did not forgive the pastor for what has been done. And later on, he died without forgiving that pastor that assumed or took care of the work he was doing. So, dear friends, this is also a kind of idolatry that many times people carry within themselves. I have the knowledge that people, they love me. People actually pray for me. Many people pray for me. And thank you for your prayers. Because I don't know if I would be here today if it wasn't through your prayers. But let me tell you something. Do not, do not make my image as an idol inside of your home. Please, in no such a way, don't do it. Only the Lord is our Lord. Only He is worthy of all glory and praise. And the day that someone, someone, a member of the Universal Church of the Kingdom of God, come to me and tell me, Bishop, I, I love you. I love you dearly. And I'll never stop following your steps. I will come to this person and I will tell them this. Look, pay attention. Good, like the Lord Jesus said, is only God. Not even the Lord Jesus made himself good. He said, good is only my father. So, dear friends, what I want to tell you is this. Do not make your faith or don't place your faith or your love. Do not place your trust 
in human beings because human beings are all with mistakes. You do not know me, but I, I have many mistakes. Esther, who knows me well, knows of my mistakes, of, of the things that I do not even know why God chose me. Sometimes I, I ask myself, but he chose me, so I give him thanks. And I love him and I worship him and I don't put no one above him. And the pastor who brought me, who made me know Jesus, was a pastor, a bishop, matter of fact, who was very good, excellent. He had his weaknesses and mistakes, but he showed me the light. But I never, I never put him above the Lord Jesus inside of my heart. No. No, that I did not do. I will not place my adoration or my love to no one, if not my God. He is the one who saved me. And this is what you have to learn. You cannot be attached to no man, to no bishop, no pastor or church, nobody. You need to be attached to God's word because he says, now therefore, if you obey, if you obey my voice and keep my covenant, then you shall be a special treasure to me above all people. For all the earth is mine. So, dear friends, keep that. Keep this word. Con preserve this inside your mind. No one is above God. No pastor, no bishop, no husband, no wife, no children, parents. Jesus says, he who loves his father and mother more than me is not worthy of me. He who loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. He who loves, he who loves someone or anyone or anything more than me is not worthy of me. So, this is the faith that we have embraced and that has maintained me alive up until this day. And thanks be to God. And I'm alive in the spiritual sense because you can be physically alive. You can have a secular life, but in a spiritual life. So, what I want you to know is that you cannot be attached to no one. If you attach to me, if I die, you're going to die as well. Isn't it so? And if I fall? What if I fall in temptation? When I pray to God, God, remove all, all the tears that is inside of the universal church so that your will be done. Because if I am a tear, I want him to remove me as well. I want. Because I don't want to be an obstacle in no one's life. I want to save. I want to save souls. So, when a pastor leaves the universal church of the kingdom of God, he leaves for a fault or mistake, something, something that was terribly done. And I did not have the privilege that they had. I did not have the privilege to be called to work in a, in a work that gives me all condition to save souls. I did not have that condition or that privilege. But they had... Everybody has. So when they are attached to a pastor and this pastor leaves and follow them, be certain that they are going to end up falling together with them and things will get worse. So keep your salvation above all things. Above all things, keep your salvation. Above your nationality, above above your the importance inside of the church, whatever it is the work you have. More than the work we do is our communion, is to be the special treasure, the special treasure of God. Yes. May God bless all of you in Jesus' name. Amen.